Hello guys, um, we're going our first game against Bolton at the Reebok Stadium, I think. Bolton, Bolton's ground's called, I'm not too sure. But we do go 1-0 up by, who is that? I think that's Housen. Yes, it is Housen. Makes us 1-0 up on the, I can't really see. I think it's the 16th minute anyway, but they do miss a penalty. And Hooper gets us 2-0 up to get us a 2-0 victory away to the Reebok Stadium. I did see him sim that. I don't know why I simmed that. But um, we do have four games to play this November. And in the December we have, now since we won that game, we have, I think, we get Sunderland in our draw. So I'm going to do a full full match live calm on that then I'm going to do the rest whatever whatever uh, games are in December I'll just do a different video in episode 9 because I think we're on to episode 6 now and if I do that for 7 then 8 yeah we do come against Manchester City and um, what a goal by Robert Snodgrass I think Robert Snodgrass is probably our best player of the season so far or Eiler, Gary Hooper, one of them, because I think, especially um, Snodgrass, he's been really well this season, and I don't know why I keep on clapping or anything, or I don't know why, if you can hear that echoing or not, because I'm in the kitchen really recording it, recording this, because my normal room, I just can't bother going in, plus this laptop needs charge, and I can only charge in the kitchen, so that's why I can only do a few games because my laptop will die because see for some reason it does not charge in my room I don't know it only charges down here in the kitchen but Man City do um, get level by Jovetic's goal do not know what our keeper was doing there um, I think I was kind of supposed to call him out to make the tackle he should have made the tackle but he, I think that was Rodwell actually that made that did that thing but Here's Hooper, I think it was there. But here's Ricky Van Wolfswinkel. What the hell goal. I said last episode, he was doing rubber season and he's like, he just listened to my face and he's just got better this um, this Man City game. And can I get any better in this episode? We will find out. But that was a beautiful one, two, I think it was two touches he, he did there. But beautiful on his left yet yeah, a beautiful left footed shot right into the right left hand corner of the net right hand corner if you're looking at this angle like if you're facing that way but um beautiful goal for for ricky and now that takes him up to three no two yeah two goals um so he's got two Oh yeah, and Gary Hooper gets injured here, and Gary Hooper, he's got two, but um, I don't show you this afterwards, but Gary Hooper is out with a sprained ankle for four weeks. It's not too bad, I thought it would be about like two months he would be out for, but like he's a, he's a brilliant player and that will hurt the squad for four weeks, um, but he does make a return on the last game against Crystal Palace of this episode. He does play in it and he does make a return. So yeah, that do that game does end. Manchester City two, Norwich City two. Bre beautiful f uh, goal from Robert Snodgrass. Um, Robert Snodgrass is our top goal scorer, and he's and um, yeah, he's probably Norwich's best part of the season in our career mode so far. I think he's actually their top goal scorer in their life too. Because Ricky Van Wolfswinkel, he's only got one this season. And that was the start of the se first start of the season. Um, but, 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 um, don't know why I was making them noises, but, um, this is pro uh, Newcastle was probably the second hardest team to play against 
So I'm not joking. They were the second hardest team to play against. I do drop our goalkeeper this time for Mark Bond because the saves he made. We should have won that game by 2-0, especially the last goal. How did he not get his hands to that? Like any other keeper would. So I replaced Mark Bond. Uh, I had four games this episode of uh, Hill. That, that guy that replaced two of them, Crystal Palace and that Man City. Then Mark Bond plays the uh, Newcastle and West Ham game, I think. Uh, might stand corrected, but not well. But we do get into the action. There's our team, Aquino, Redmond. I as I just did a rotation-ish squad, like I had a Aquino and stuff. Just because I don't want Aquino getting pissed off and saying, Where, where's his playing time? But I never knew it, it took off Snodgrass. But, uh, so we do find a decent free kick taker, which is Tete. And you'll see here what he Tete can do with his free kicks. And it just hits the crossbar. And Ricky Fan will sprinkle with the header as a rebounder to make it 1 0 Norwich and make him have three goals in the Premier League. No, that's Almander, sorry. I just couldn't see, you know. Sony Fergus Pro full screen. It's just crap. I swear it is crap. But there was a brilliant furry kick from Tete. Just unlucky hits the crossbar. But brilliant header from Jonna, I think it is. Almander. Done from Galatasaray. Um, I think I might buy him at the end of the season because he actually is a quality player. He's th he's probably better than Ricky from Wolfswinkle. So he is. Uh, Wolfswinkle hasn't really done anything for me this season. I don't think he's good in this team, but we do um, get sent off here. I think it was Joseph Yubi. Yes, it is. It was Joseph Yubi that got us down to 10 men, so he'll be suspended um, for the West Ham game only then he'll make his return in Crystal Palace um, but they do get a free kick here Ben Arthur um, but it's not very good free kick so it gets cleared and there is the full time whistle that ends Newcastle nil, Norwich 1 I, I know Newcastle got I know when you beat Newcastle but I swear if I didn't like if I just edited out if I didn't add out the goals, if I added out all the key chances and blah blah blah, you would see we only that goal was probably our only attack. Newcastle were all over us twenty four seven. That's why I'm going to play Mark Bunn in the the next game because he played superb. We would have probably got beaten if it wasn't for Mark Bunn. But we do accept the Welsh um, job. Only reason why is because I actually pretty like. Uh, Wales and don't forget they have Gareth Bale which they are a quality player but um, the thing is before this West Ham game we had two international friendlies but I just added it out but we do go 1-0 up here 54th minute I'm not sure who it was let's just see number 9 yeah Van Wolfswinkle to get his third goal of the game I not give the game his third goal in the Premier League as I said, look, he's getting better now since he, I said he was, he's done really crap this other season, but he's getting better. But I can't remember what I was going to say now. I think I was, let me think. Uh, Oh, yes, I remember what we talked about now, it was the international friendlies. Um, yeah, I think we played them, I know we have two, but I do edit it out. I think it was before this game or either after this game. But um, for it, we, drew, we lost our first friendly, I can't remember who it was by though. But um, we did get beat 2-0 at home. Then we played Czech the Republic and drew Nillage away. Which was alright, we saw it like, wasn't too bad pairs. Snodgrass getting on the score sheet again. He's, every game I play him in, he's always on the score sheet. I bet in the Sunderland game we'll play. 
he will get on the score sheet again. Uh, I'm sorry, that is my phone. I don't know if you heard that or not. Probably they did. But, um, yep. See, I bet you, um, he'll get on the score sheet against Sunderland, definitely. But, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I was going to say if, um, if we get a cup tie with Ipswich, or they get promoted, or we'll get relegated somehow, but I bet if we get relegated, I'll get sacked anyway. But if we ever do play Ipswich Town, I, that will be a full game, because if you don't know Norwich and them, um, or rivals, I think. I looked it up earlier, because I want to know who ro Norwich's rivals are. But here is Houlihan, I think. It, no, it was Gary Hooper. Makes it 1-0 to Norwich against Crystal Palace. 19th minute in. Which is, he's doing really, he's got, he's picked up a really good patch in fo uh, form lately, Gary Hooper, as well as Ricky Fambleswinkle. So I'm really glad there are two strikers are scoring goals. Um, but I cannot remember what this ends as. I think this is the only goal of the game, and I should be saying goodbye now, really. But we'll see, because I'm full screen, I can't see the storyline. But uh, he does get three goals in the Premier League so far, as well as Wolfswinkle. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that does end. One nil to Norwich City. Guy with the only goal. Um, so I should be saying goodbye now because I, I chose you the league, and then I'll it'll be bye bye. But um, I'm gonna go upstairs now. I'm recording the Sunderland full game, and then just after this is rendered out. I'll render it and then upload it to YouTube again. So it could be through the middle of the night, or if you're American, it could be re late at night. You will see this, the Sundering game uploaded, and this uploaded. Speedy, look here, if you want to pause it and see the Cup and One Cup things and stuff. But well, here's the Premier League. We are seventh comfortably. I'm really happy that we're seventh. Um, because. That's perfect for Norwich. They are mid table side. I know there are relegation problems in their life at the minute. But I think seven I would be happy with seven so not even like if we get Champions League or Europe League or not, I would still be happy. So yeah, see ya.